What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you know every time I put up a new video and or a live stream like this one. We have a new teaser for the next generation 2022 Tundra. We've had quite a few teasers over the last couple months and I'm pretty sure this is the last one. Now, if you go onto the toyota.com website and look at all the teasers they've released so far, this last one has the coming soon box, and then there is none after this. So that means, will we be seeing the 2022 Toyota Tundra very soon? It is now, uh, we'll say early to mid-August, I'm thinking, from that last teaser where we saw on the phone, it showed the time 919. I think that was a little tease saying September 19th, so we shall see. Uh, very excited for that. So before we go over today's teaser, uh, a lot of people were guessing what would the next teaser be, and it is suspension related. I'm sure you guys will be happy to see all of this. Um, I always look for little Easter eggs in these videos as well, so make sure if you see something that I didn't, comment below, and we will talk about it. But before we talk about today's, and before I show you the little clip and some of the pictures, let's go over what we've seen so far in the teasers. The first one we saw was the dark shot of the front end of the truck, and they put all of the lights on, the headlights, the fog lights, the light bar, all of it shoots on real quick and then goes away. That was our initial teaser, which made us very happy because it pretty much said Toyota is actually doing the 2022 next generation Tundra. Some people were worried that, you know, maybe the last year, year and a half, the chip shortage, COVID, all that might've slowed it up a little bit, but it was coming. So that was an exciting video. Number two, we saw uh, the engine cover that said iForce Max, which we saw the Max was outlined in blue uh, with the orange wiring behind it. That pretty much says hybrid which is one of the rumored engines, the two rumored engines right now, V6 twin turbo, V6 twin turbo hybrid. So that kind of pointed us in the right direction on that as well. Number three, there was a leak. So they had to release a picture of the truck. So we saw the side shot of a white 2022 TRD Pro Tundra. That was the best one so far because we really were able to deep dive into little parts about the truck and find a lot of stuff in that. Number four, we saw the interior shot, uh, of the infotainment. It was actually the top of the infotainment screen, top of the steering wheel, driver's side grab handles back, um, JBL sound system. We saw all of that just from that picture. So that was the next one. Then the one after that was the pano roof and the confirmation, I know this makes everybody happy, of the return of the power sliding rear window. So that was a fun one to see as well. Number six was the last one where we saw the crawl control, the wireless phone charger and the TRD Pro seats. And that's when we were messing around with when they placed the phone on the wireless charger. It really emphasized that 919. So let's hope that's actually the date. A lot of people were saying, well, that's a Sunday and Toyota doesn't release thing on Sundays or release things on Sunday. Who knows? That's what it said. And it's fun to mess around with this stuff. So even if it's right around that date, that would be great. Just get the thing out so it could be on the lots by Christmas because I really want to buy one in this year and not wait for next year. So without further ado, we're all caught up now. Let's take a look at the little video and some of the pictures for what we have today in what looks to be the final teaser. Check it out. And of course, with the video, Toyota released a little statement, August 10th, 2021. Turning over a new leaf certainly applies to the all new 2022 Toyota Tundra. Toyota engineers reimagined the suspension to set a new bar for on and off-road performance. Stay tuned for the latest updates here. All right, so first things first, we're gonna take a look at the three pictures that came with this video, which are pretty much still shots of what you just saw from that little video clip. But afterward, I wanna show you some of the pictures I took. I went ahead, went outside to my 2020 TRD Pro and took a picture underneath the truck to kind of give you an idea of what may be a little bit different, just doing a quick before and after. But before we do that, let's take a look at the first picture. So this is the rear of the truck here. First thing we notice is the Fox TRD Pro suspension is back. It looks to be the same as always, but there's a lot of new stuff going on back here. Number one, before we even talk about the fact that there's no more leaf spring and we have a spring setup now, which is cool, look way down there under the truck. It looks like there's a lot more body armor on the bottom of the truck if you look at today's Tundra versus this. So that's just something to keep in mind. I kind of like to do little things like that and not just look at what they're trying to show you, but look at the things around it as well. The second thing I noticed that didn't have to do with the suspension is this is the TRD Pro, which normally comes with a dual exhaust. 
Uh, this has a single outlet exhaust, so keep that in mind as well. I mean, we're not going to see a V8 engine anymore, so uh, you know, I don't know if they would have a dual exhaust for a V6 twin turbo or a hybrid option, but it still would have looked cool. And that's one thing that I'm going to be a little sad about. I like that dual exhaust. But now, like we were talking about, the rear suspension. Here is a before picture real quick. This right here is uh, my 2020 TRD Pro. That is the setup underneath right there. So as you can see, when you look at it, uh, my exhaust is in the way. My spare tire is as well. Uh, there's a lot less going on on the axle and the differential, and you can see there is that leaf spring all the way over to the right. You can also see by looking past the axle, you can see the TRD dual exhaust, uh, the mufflers up there, and you can see that there's not a lot of body armor on it. You could also see the surface rust on the heat shield above the TRD Pro exhaust. We live in the Northeast and by the ocean there is rust everywhere. So keep that in mind as well. So that is what it looks like on my 2020 right now. But we go back to the picture that just came out and you will see there are springs there now. Uh, we got a whole new setup going on. So that was one of the rumors going on that they were gonna get rid of the leaf springs and go to uh, you know an actual spring setup like a coil over. And you know, they're keeping the TRD Pro shocks on this one. So that is what we have from picture number one. Uh, like I said, the takeaways here is look at all that body armor. Uh, tell me what you think about those springs and single exhaust, which I'm not too thrilled about. So that is picture number one. We slide over to picture number two, and this is the look of the front of the TRD Pro, uh, the suspension at the front tire. As you can see, that is a TRD Pro, or excuse me, a TRD front sway bar. Uh, we once again have that Fox suspension back, but there's a little something I want you to look at here that's tucked away in the top left of this picture. If we close in, you will see an orange wire all the way up there, uh, right on top of the spring in the engine bay there. Now we know the orange wire. Uh, we were talking about that with the iForce Max picture that came out, teaser number two or three, uh, has to do with a hybrid engine. So that could be more confirmation that we will see a hybrid coming soon. Now, once again, I will pull up a picture of my 2020 uh, TRD Pro setup right now with the Fox suspension and everything up front. Uh, you can see that we have a sway bar in the front of our Tundras right now, but we don't have that TRD front sway bar. So they upgraded to that. Uh, this Fox suspension is the one that obviously has the reservoir on the outside of it. It looks like pretty much the same setup when going back to the new picture here. Although, just now, I realize that I don't think I see a little reservoir on the new one, but I don't know if it could just be the angle of the picture or not. So we'll have to keep a look on that. Or is it something new, some kind of new Fox suspension uh, you know, that we don't know about yet? We shall see. But overall, um, the biggest takeaway from this picture, well, I guess two things. You could say the TRD front sway bar is now on the truck. Uh, you know, when you purchase it, you don't have to put it on after the fact. And that's the, or excuse me, this is the TRD Pro. I don't know how it'll be with the rest of the, the trims out there. But the big takeaway for me, is that orange wire all the way at the top uh, above the whole spring unit. And that could mean, once again, a second time we're seeing something that could say a hybrid engine. Okay, so that is the second picture. Okay, and in the final shot here, we're getting a look at the TRD Pro skid plate and a better shot of that TRD front sway bar. Uh, pretty much the same idea when it comes to the TRD Pro skid plate. I tried to close in, zoom in on the picture a little bit to see if it goes back any further than the current one, but it looks pretty much the same thing. And once again, if you look under the truck, uh, you know, from certain angles, it really does look like there's a lot more protection under the truck now versus uh, the one that is in my driveway today. So in looking at that, we also go and look at the 2020 the best I could here. I tried to get a good angle on it for you. Uh, a little bit different of a TRD Pro front skid plate. And we also have uh, the bumper clip attached to the front where it looks like they left that off for the picture here. And I got a shot of the tow hook in the way there. Uh, but once again, there is a front sway bar on our current Tundras. It's just not the TRD front sway bar. So that's the difference there. The one that you have on your Tundra right now, if you didn't upgrade, is black. Nothing special, but it is there. Uh, so back to the 2022 picture. If you guys see anything crazy in this picture that I'm not seeing, make sure you mention in the comment below. Uh, you know, I kind of just got these pictures and put this up as quickly as I could. So make sure if you see anything in any of these pictures, you let us know. But those are the three pictures, and that is the teaser video about the suspension. So make sure you go down in the comments below. Let us know what you think. Are you happy with what you see or not? Okay, so that is our seventh teaser. Could it be our final one? 
Will they give us more in the next month? I'm not mad about the teasers. I know a lot of you always say, forget the teasers, just release the truck. But a teaser is better than nothing. So I like that they're doing things here and there. And I'll be honest with you, the teasers get better and better. And they're actually showing us you know, stuff that is uh, pretty detailed. I mean, obviously they're not writing about what they're putting up or anything like that. And that's why we have to dig through the pictures and find what's going on. But, um, you know, they're giving us a lot. And that, what was it, the third or fourth picture was the side shot of the TRD Pro is awesome because like I said, we were able to take that picture of the side of the truck and close in and kind of find what we like and dislike about it. Uh, you know, front facing camera we found on that, uh, you know, blind spot monitoring and parking sensors on the TRD Pro model. We saw the top of the screen on the inside for infotainment. So all of that going on, uh, it's fun. It's fun to do that and see what's happening just so we know that 2022 Tundra will be on the lot before you know it. At least it's guaranteeing that it's coming. So let me know what you think about the pictures you just saw about the suspension. Are you upset that the leaf springs are going away? Are you happy there's more body armor under the truck? What do you think about that hybrid wire we saw in the top of the engine bay there uh, over the, the shock tower and all that? So let us know that stuff um, and anything else you want to talk about it. My one disappointment of this picture, like I said, is the single outlet exhaust. I'm sad about that. I wanted the dual exhaust, even if it wasn't going to give us great sound. I like the look of a dual exhaust, uh, you know, on a half ton truck. So that's just me. Uh, but let us know what you think in the comments below. Also, let us know what you think of all of these teasers so far. Which one is your favorite? And you can't say that side shot of the TRD Pro because that's everybody's favorite. So if you look through all the pictures and you see anything I didn't see in this last and most recent teaser, please comment below and let us know and let's have a great conversation. But uh, final question of the video for you right here, are you going to keep your current generation Tundra or are you going for the next generation? Let us know in the comments below. Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook at TundraDude34, TundraDude34 gmail.com. You guys have a great day. Be safe and be well.